Socks for Santa by Adam and Charlotte Julian and Lee Wildish. A boy called George had a magical plan. One Christmas Eve, frost and bright, as Santa brought presents to him every year, he'd take gifts to Santa that night. George built a sledge and he chose Santa's gifts. He wrapped them and packed up a box. He dug out his backpack and put on his hat. Then he threw in some spare woolly socks. George trudged through a blizzard towards the North Pole, but he soon didn't know where to go. Then he spotted a shadowy figure ahead. Was it Santa? Oh, look at the sign. It says, one way to the Tooth Fairy Palace, the other one to Jack Frost's Igloo, another one to Leprechaun Village, and another one to Easter Bunny's Burrow. <laughs> yes, but made of snow. From behind the huge snowman, two bears peeped at George. Their faces were furry and white. They suddenly scooped up big pawfuls of snow and called, Time for snow! And called, Time for a fun snowball fight! The polar bear cub asked George, Why are you here? I'm looking for Santa. The polar bear cub asked George, Why are you here? I'm looking for Santa. The polar bear cub asked George, Why are you here? I'm looking for Santa, George said. I'll carry you there said the kind mother bear. And towards the North Pole they all sped. Stopped at a workshop surrounded by trees. Twinkling lights showed a path through the snow. The door slowly opened and someone appeared. And a sad little elf wailed. And now! What's the matter? Asked George with a gasp of surprise. The elf moaned. We're tired of mate. They still hate stack of toys to wrap up. Santa's ready and Christmas can't wait. They can help you, said George as he rolled up his sleeve and then he started to wrap up a toy. The polar bears tied up all the ribbons and bows and when they finished, the elves danced with joy. Thanks, said the elf as he checked out his list. With your help, everything needs getting everything ready. George cheered. Merry Christmas, and passed around sweets, and then he handed the bear cub a teddy. Oh, get this way, said the elf. As he opened the door, George dragged his box of gifts through. Santa, I brought you some presents, he called. Then he stopped as he heard a, <laughs> Santa, I brought you some presents. He called. Then he stopped as he heard a uh, uh, uh. Yeah, Rudolph said George. The deer nodded his head. I've got food in my nose and stuff glowing. Santa needs me to go to sleigh tonight. And now I won't see where I'm going. Don't worry, grinned, grinned George. And he pulled out a gift. I've got a torch for you. Here you can wear. Then all the reindeer pulled gifts from the box. Poor George looked around, groaned in despair. Oh. My presents for Santa, cried George. They're all gone. Perhaps I should pack up and go. Picked up his backpack, pulled on his hat. But just then he heard... <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. Santa, gasped George. I brought you some gifts, but I just gave the last one away. That's the spirits of Christmas, said Santa with joy. Could you help me to harness my sleigh? Santa grabbed his red coat and buttoned it up. I need to keep warm in the snow. Sat on a stool, pulled on a sock, then out of a 
of a whole pot of tow. Now my poor foot will freeze, Santa said with a sleigh. That's when George had a brilliant idea. He took out the last thing he had in his bag. You can have my spare socks, he said. Here. With cozy warm feet, Santa climbed in his sleigh and he called out. George, it's Christmas Eve. Will you help me deliver my toys around the world? We'll see wonders you'll never believe. So George jumped in the sleigh and the elves brought the sack. And then Rudolph switched on his new light. <laughs> With a whoosh, they were off and through the bright starry night sky on that magical spot. With a whoosh, they were off through the bright starry sky on that magical sparkly night. <laughs> Can you see the, the headlamp that Rudolph is wearing? <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah. Let me change the light here. There we go. And then maybe I'll do that. With a whoosh, they were off through the bright starry sky on that magical sparkly night. <laughs> Can you see Rudolph's headlamp? That replaced his stuffy red nose up ahead in the front, right? <laughs> what a great story. And it looks like we've got another book coming from those authors and their other books. And 